I'm not sure what this is, but I thought it looked cool. got a Alice Chambers engine on the back. It's built into it. I've never seen one of these before. Restoration done by Bright Farms. Take a look in here. Man, there's not much room in there. But I'd sure give it a shot driving it. We are here at the Morgan County Fairgrounds today, and they have a uh, antique implement show, machinery show, antique machinery show. And they have this every year. And the uh, club down here puts it on. So I'll have more information posted on uh, what it's all about here later. We got some old tractors fired up here. Looks like a John Deere. And by the color of it, probably a Van Oss chamber. Yep. All right. And then here's the tractors. Let's go in and see what they got. This is pretty cool. It's got a Chevrolet engine. They call it the half breed on a farm all. I thought the color was pretty cool too. Wow. Not quite si sure what size that is. It's pretty cool. We're uh, getting ready to pull a tractor out here, so it's a little noisy. But as you can see, they got all these farm malls down through here. Along with some John Deere's. Alice Chambers. I don't know what the model of these are, folks, so says Model A on the on the seat post. I'm sure you will uh, let me know what they are. And they got all these Alice Chambers. From small to big. There it is pulling out. There's a uh, pre-combine Alice Chambers. Pretty cool. Yeah. There you go, tractor boy. Pretty cool. Another farm all. Then we got a bunch of 
John Deere down here they're starting up. This one was unique. John Deere. I don't know if the 60 means anything. But look at where the seat is located. Just hanging out there. Nineteen fifty-four, sixty standard. Pretty cool. They're all cool. What can I say? And here's a Model 60 1953. Wow. Look at the work that they put into these to restore them. How would you like to shift through those gears? original. That is cool. I don't know what this is. 1941 LA it says. It's pretty interesting. Yeah, there it is. 1941 John Deere LA. That is cool. Pretty simple. I grew up on a tractor just like this. Farmall A. Very simple, but yet it got the job done. Don't remember it having one of those belt drives though. International. Super A. I. Pretty red. There's another Farmall Cub. That's more like what I had or was grew up on. Farmall Cub. I remember that name. Yeah. Yep. Brings back some good memories. All right, we'll just take a walk about now. Try to catch some of the uh, cherry tractors before they haul them out. Ooh, look at this, a Kubota. 1986 L2850. Look at that. 
It's the only Kubota I've seen so far in here. It is quite a bit different. Look at the controls. Wow, that's really different. Look at the front badge. The head on those. Four wheel drive, of course. Huh. Three point doesn't look like it's changed much at all. Pretty standard. Let's see what it looks like from the driver's seat. There's an economy tractor, 14 horsepower. Economy 2414, year they do not know. Power King. Look at that box plate, folks. I think that might be homemade. Minneapolis Moline. Case. A couple John Deere's. Nineteen sixty seven. John Deere sixty. A little uh, aerodynamics on there. No. Oh. This is just a few of the tractors that they brought to the ship. Look at this. It's like that 160 we saw, but it's just got the uh, fenders on it. Just so be careful, guys. 1955. Restored very nicely. And they got a couple others here. Father-son projects. Yeah, this is something interesting. It's pretty cool. You don't see many more of these anymore. Very cool. Looks like they're cooking. Looks like they're kicking. There's the working end. There's your fuel tanks. One on each side. You can hear it crackling. Almost missed this. Pre-Woodmiser sawmill. Look at that. That's cool. All right, we'll run down this aisle. I have no clue what that is. A lot of John Deere's, of course. Farm malls. 
Sorry about the light. Um, getting one that ready to start up here. This is interesting. Nineteen thirty-nine F twenty. Get out this gentleman's way here. Getting ready to take off. He's got a nice shiny farm off. Then we got all the Alice Chambers. All different conditions, but most of them pretty shiny. This one looks pre restoration. Nice little project there. Yeah, what's this? what that tank is on the front. Some sort of sprayer. Interesting. They must have had AC on these Alice Chambers. Oh, wait a minute. That's an Alice Chambers badge. Now we just go up in size. Bigger. Biggest. And 190. Wow, these are some big tractors here. The left-hander, I wonder what the left-hander is. Left land handler, stupid Phil. Diesel, then you got international. I've never seen one of these before. It's a right saw, reciprocating saw. Pretty interesting. Operates off a piston. It just goes back and forth, like so. Well, if it goes dirt cheap at this auction, I might pick it up just for conversation piece. Morgan County Antique Machinery Show. It was a nice day. It didn't rain.